Hey everybody, it's Ant over here in China with the Merlin yet again. Gotta love it. Got a request for a song by an Australian group I'd never heard of before. Um, gave them a little listen. Uh, love the song. <clears throat> Fantastic song, so I thought I'd do it, or I'd try it. <clears throat> and as it turns out, it actually uh, transposes to Merlin very, very easily. I will make a little how-to tutorial video once I'm done singing the song. So if you want to just hear the song, great. Here it is. If you want to learn how to play it on a Merlin, hang out after the song and I'll show you. At least my own way of playing it anyway. Again, I don't know the song very well, but uh, I love it. It sounds amazing. The song is I Done You So Wrong by The Paper Kites. Anyway, something like that. Beautiful song. Listen to the original version by the Paper Kites. It's stunning. It's haunting. It's beautiful. I love it. Anyway, Merlin can't really play a lot of songs. Well, the same songs that you can on a traditional uh, non-pentatonic type instrument like a ukulele or guitar. It's a little different. Um, so it needs some transposing. So I'm going to show you what I did here just to make this easier. Basically, there are three chords that this song needs you can add a D minor something or other if you really want D sharp minor but um, I don't think that that little change is necessary at least the way, the way I heard it it was all right so let's take a look at the chords first all right let me just make sure I can see what you're seeing so three chords really easy 
the uh, main part of the song, the verses, are just E and A. That's it. So E, we play here with a bar, let me get that here, on first fret all strings. That's an E. However, I don't like to play the E in that way, especially not for, that so for this song, and let me tell you why. When I play an E, I play it on the Merlin the same way I would play a D on a ukulele. Instead of making a bar across all the strings, I will take my pointer finger and bar it across the top two strings, and then take my middle finger and put it onto the bottom two strings. So basically it's the same chord, but instead of barring across on all four strings, I bar two and then use my uh, ring finger, or sorry, my middle finger for the bottom one. Now the reason I do this is it just makes the chord changes that much easier. Now if we're doing it the traditional way and you're barring like this, and then you've got to jump to an A, you've got to actually switch the entire position of your hand, which after practice, I suppose, could be very easily done if you're a guitar player or something like that. But for myself with my fat short fingers, it's not that great. I prefer to go like this because then I just lift my pointer finger off the middle string and I've got A, E, A, E, A. And in the song, there are some parts that kind of go, na, na, na. That's not an accurate tone or anything, but they kind of, uh, whoa, I'm, I, it's in the tip, on the tip of my tongue. Uh, they modulate, they change. So what I do for this song is I will lift between an A and an E very quickly. Let me show you that motion. That way I can kind of modulate it a bit. Technically I'm, I'm hitting another A, but I'm going up and down so quickly it's not, doesn't sound like an A, it just kind of sounds like a modulation. The modulation isn't necessary. During the chorus I use the modulation. During the verses I do not. I just change the strumming too. That's what I do in the verse. In the chorus I would do this. That's nice and easy. So basically the verses start off with E. And then after three bars of that, you swap over to A. Right, so it's E, A, E, 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 A, E, 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 A. That's the pattern for the verses. Now, when we get to the chorus, only slightly different, we throw in a new chord and that's a B. All right, so let's take a look at the, the B chord. B chord is nice and simple. Basically, we take the uh, pointer finger and put it on the, sec the first fret, second string. Then we take the middle finger, we put it on the first string, second fret. And then we take the ring finger over here and we put this on the bottom two strings on the second fret. So the chorus consists of B, then A, and then E. Now again, you can find these chord patterns online. Uh, there are uh, several different places that will show you, but they're very easy. Let me go over them really quickly once again. So we start off with an E, either with a bar like this, or the way I do it with barring the top two, and then ring finger on the bottom. Oh, sorry, middle finger on the bottom. Then we go to A, which is just the first fret, top and bottom strings. And then we basically slide that down and add the, set, the first fret, second string, right? So we've got E, A, and B. E. Anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, I know it's pretty basic. Like I said, I'm very new to the Merlin. Never heard this song or this band before a couple days ago. I love it. It's great. It's fantastic. I hope you like it too. I hope that helps. Uh, another request slash how-to video coming soon.